I'm Jared Brown with the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm here at the BOK Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where the Memphis Tigers just captured their third consecutive Conference USA Championship after a thrilling double overtime win over Southern Miss, 91-79. And after five more threes and 23 points, Chris Crawford was named Tournament MVP. The first half was a defensive struggle with neither team being able to put together a true offensive run and Memphis having the largest lead of the half at just three points. The Tigers took a two point lead into the half, 29 to 27. The second half wasn't much different as both teams went back and forth, but Memphis led by seven with just 40 seconds left. While Southern Miss went on a 7-0 run over the last 40 seconds, including a layup as the buzzer sounded to tie the game up and send it into overtime. In the first overtime, it was back and forth again, but this time it was Memphis who needed a last second bucket, and it was Joe Jackson who delivered, hitting a bucket with 12 seconds left to tie it up at 72-72 and send it into a second overtime. Then in the second overtime, with the best performances of his career, the Conference USA tournament belonged to Chris Crawford. It just took a little longer for him to get heated up in the championship game. Crawford scored 20 of his 23 points in the final 13 minutes, including the go-ahead three-pointer in double overtime. Crawford, the league's sixth man of the year, connected on a three-pointer to put the top-seeded Tigers up 78-76 with 2.44 remaining. He also had a jumper and a pair of free throws to put the Tigers up 10 with just 24 seconds to play before the Tigers put the game away and picked up their seventh Conference USA Championship in just eight years. Crawford had been on the hottest of stretches, setting new career highs with 30 points and eight three-pointers in the semifinals. Those numbers eclipsed his 24 points and six three-pointers from the previous game which had been the best of his career. Crawford's 19 three-pointers in the three days is a new Conference USA tournament record. Joe Jackson, the Tigers' leading scorer, added 22 points after being held scoreless for the first time all season in the semifinals. Along with Crawford's 23 points and Jackson's 22, Adonis Thomas added 19 points and eight rebounds, DJ Steffens added 12 points, and Jaron Johnson added 10 points and six rebounds. Um, it was a great game, man. We uh, we came out to play. Um, the crowd was into it, man, and we went to two overtimes. It was like one of those NCAA tournament games that just got us ready for um, get us ready for March. Oh man, come on now. Um, let's talk about Chris' performance for the last seven, eight games, man. He's been shooting a mess out the ball, you know. And, um, I mean, when you shoot the ball like that, man, it, just, it makes the game easier for everybody else on the team. And, um, I mean, he really deserved it, man. He, he, he probably made over. He made 23s in four games. You know, when you shoot the ball like that, man, you are the most valuable player. That's like, that's like some Reggie Miller type stuff. So, uh, but it definitely feels good to be able to go out and get the ring, um, finish 19-0 in the conference, win the conference tournament. Um, to get uh, a season with 30 wins, um, that's a big positive. It gives us a lot of momentum going to the tournament. I didn't expect them to do that and for them to uh, allow me to be the last one to just officially cut the entire net down, it meant a lot to me. Um, I didn't expect to make the all-tournament team, but I did. Um, I, was, um, I was happy about that. And I was um, proud of my teammates for the accomplishments they got as well. Um, uh, Chris got the, um, the tournament MVP or something like that, but just for our guys to be recognized for stuff like that, I'm just happy. Uh, man, you know, we. we, we Going in, into the overtime, we were kind of down, but you know, coach, coach brought us together in the huddle. He was like, you know, it's great for us. You know, it was great for us as far as tournament-wise, and you know, we, he just stayed confident. He, he was very confident with us, telling him we were definitely going to win the game. You know, we had we had his back 100%, and we came out successful. 
Oh uh, man, you know, it was a great win. You know, I'm glad we get the win for our seniors on that last go round. You know, special shout out to my boy DJ, you know, got the win for him, you know, all that he's been through and all the the uh, the just the energy that he brings to the team and you know, I'm just glad we came out victorious. Oh man, it's a great accomplishment for me and you know, just me to accept the role of coming off the bench being a six man, you know, sacrificing for my teammates, you know, just me putting in constant work before practice, after practice, you know, it just showed this weekend. No, it was a great win. Southern Miss is a very good team. To win three straight conference tournament titles, two straight conference regular season titles, uh, have won 26 straight Conference USA games dating back to last year, 19 this year in a row, have won 30 games. Special. It's a special group of guys. Guys made big shots. He hit some big shots. This double overtime game will be good for us in the long run. Heck of a win. Third time in three years that I've been showered. After, U after we beat UTEP in the conference tournament championship, I got showered with, with ice water. Last year after we beat Marshall in the conference tournament, finally I got showered with ice water. And same thing this year. Nothing feels better. After the 91-79 championship win, the Tigers now await their seeding for the NCAA tournament. For the Memphis Tiger Network, I'm Jared Brown.